Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. We have some interesting things going on in the next few days that we're gonna take you guys along for. So the first thing is we're basically 99% sure at this point that we're going to redo our closet. So we went to Ikea the other day and we're like, okay, instead of spending a crap ton of money on these um, companies that do custom closets, we're just gonna go to Ikea and get like put together some of their closet shelving systems in our closet, make it fit perfectly, which Nick is gonna do and we're gonna organize everything because our closet, it just has one bar going across the whole thing and then we have no real drawers. I mean, I guess we do because we have those ones from Ikea on the floor, but it's just the whole situation in there just is very stressful. So we wanted to make it a little bit more functional. We're gonna get the closet and then tomorrow we have our meeting with the lady at the church that we're gonna get married at and then I'm gonna spend Sunday with my best friend, Danielle. We're gonna look for a wedding dress for me for my church wedding and then we have dinner with our parents. I'm gonna go with Nick right now to go to PT for his shoulder and I'm just gonna drop him off and I'm gonna probably go grab some coffee, do the whole <coughs> Um. Anyways, that, that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna take you guys along, so let's go. We're on our way to PT for Nick right now and then while he's in PT, I think I'm gonna go to Hero Pin, which is the place that we get all of our clothes tailored, altered. Uh, and then I might go to Target if I have enough time because they're right next to each other and then I'll go pick Nick up. Okay, so These are the items I'm getting altered. I have these jeans. They're both from Revolve. These are girlfriend jeans. They are super cute low-waisted really baggy and I usually get my denim in a much bigger size and then I go get it tailored that way it fits me perfectly I just need to get these the length taken shorter a little bit I already got them tailored at the waist and then when I got home I realized that I want them a little bit shorter and then I also got this really cute holiday sweater from Revolve and there's a hole in it because that's my fault I didn't so it's like this really cute it has like pearls on it and I thought it'd be really cute to wear during Christmas time but I didn't realize that it had shoulder padding in it so my dumbass was like okay let me just cut it out and I didn't realize I was like cutting the yarn or the the stitching and I took the shoulder pad out of this side and now there's a giant hole so we got to get that fixed and have them take out the shoulder padding from the other side so that's all that I'm doing and then I'm gonna go to Target also you guys our car got broken into like weeks ago but the freaking dealership in no place in town has the glass part that we need um has a window so if you see the back window, you can't see it right now, but if you see that it's like shattered, mind your own business. Okay, so I came here because I don't own any plain long sleeve shirts that cover my whole stomach that I can wear like underneath jackets. So this works perfectly and I have some other ones to try on too. Here's the same one in white. This one's a little bit see-through, but they didn't have my size in the gray one. This is a medium. These other two are small, but this still works. I'd rather be oversized and comfortable than super tight. We just got home from running our little errands. Nick just left to go to Ikea and I'm gonna start my nighttime routine because it's pretty lengthy and I have a lot to do. I have to clean the downstairs, wash my makeup off, start or put away some laundry and all that. Also, I think the bed's not even made, so I'm gonna do that stuff. Okay, this is what our closet looks like right now. We don't really have any like drawers. We have these down here, but they just don't do the job. I can't really explain why they just don't. We don't have any like shelving, stacked shelving. So when we, okay, I'll throw you your ball. <laughs> so when we get the Ikea stuff, it's gonna be so much better. Like for instance, all of my leggings and stuff, I'll just put those on shelves, maybe even my jeans, some of my sweaters that I don't wear like the hoodies. So it'll just be like a lot more organized. And then we have this mirror right here. The only thing is that with the measurements and everything, it doesn't fit perfectly because it's not like super customized. So it is gonna stick out from this wall right here, probably about a little bit over an inch. So it's gonna look a little weird, but we don't even care. We just want, we're literally desperate for some type of organization in here. I need to change into my jammies and take off my jewelry. Today I've had so many, I guess, realizations. Basically, I love listening. I think that's probably Nick. Hello? Hey, are you still downstairs? No. Okay, did you lock the back door? Yeah, why? Okay, I was just making sure because you're gonna be home alone, that's why. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> okay, love you. 
I love you too. Bye bye. So I love listening to podcasts and I couldn't really find one that I wanted to listen to today. So I typed in migraine and this guy's podcast came up with, turns out it's his doctor that I follow. I love him. He's a functional medicine doctor and I was listening to his podcast. He talks about migraines and the causes for them and everything. Of course, there are so many different migraines. It's not like a one size fits all illness, I guess, but it is treated like it's a one size fits all, which is the problem and which is why functional medicine is super helpful with people who suffer from things like migraines because there are so many different triggers. So a functional medicine specialist is going to test everything. They're gonna run every test imaginable to see what's going on in your body. And that's not something that regular doctors do. They might take like a regular blood panel. I would know, I've literally been to all of them and I've been to the best of them and they don't care about things like your sleep, your diet, food sensitivities, maybe your allergies, your stress levels, if I said that. There's so many other factors that go into it than just what your regular blood work can tell. So something that I've been really kind of struggling with lately is having, not only just having migraines, but not knowing why I have them. And I think it's gonna be a long, long journey to find out the exact reason why I have migraines. Sorry, I'm like dragging this on. Okay, I'm gonna do my skincare. I love doing my skincare early on in the night so that when I get really tired, I can just brush my teeth and knock out. I don't have to worry about getting fully ready for bed. And also, it's just nice to hang out without makeup on in comfy, cozy pajamas with your hair put back or whatever. Just relaxing. Oh, I forgot to put on my little wristbands and now I have water all down my arms. If anything goes missing in this damn bathroom, I blame Nick every time. I'm like, it was Nick. Nick touched it. Nick had something to do with it. How does that go missing? Where the heck is it, dude? Oh my gosh. That was my fault. done with skincare. Nick just got home. In Nick the mouth. home. <laughs> you gotta unload the car. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while. Okay, happy It's home. heavy, but it's okay. <laughs> Come inside, mama, it's cold. Good girl. <gasps> Good morning, guys. It's the next day. We're on the way to the Catholic Church to talk over kind of like the plans. I don't really know what this appointment is even for. <sighs> It's been a rushed morning, and I'm not gonna lie, him and I, we're not on the same page. <laughs> we're... I don't know why I'm laughing, but you hate me when you're rushed. <laughs> because you're annoying! You know what, I have to stop this right now. Okay, we just got to the church in the span of, what, 15 minutes? I got a migraine, so I brought my new prescription with me, so we're weaning off my antidepressants. I have to take 50 milligrams instead of 75 now, and today's my first day doing that. So I take one tablet in the morning and one tablet at night. And I'm kind of nervous because if you've been on antidepressants, you know how miserable it is to get off of them. Oh my God, that tastes disgusting. Oh my gosh. I think what we're really going to be doing is doing a 10 day reset. Yeah. What's his name? What's the doctor's name? Dr. Hyman, I think. So Dr. Hyman is- He's a is, functional doctor. He's a functional medicine specialist and he is very, very well known. And he did a podcast on migraines. I was telling you guys about this last night. And he does like this 10 day reset that you could follow. <laughs> and basically dur during that time you eat specific foods. No alcohol, no you caffeine. You pay attention to your sleep. You pay attention to when you eat. You pay attention to like your stress levels and I'm gonna do it just to see if that helps my migraines at all. But ultimately, I wanna see a functional medicine specialist. Anyways, we're gonna go into the church now. Mm -hmm. Cause baby love cleaned out all of the racks and then now 
I'm gonna take everything down from the shelves and literally clear out every single thing that's in here so that Nick can get started on building. Wow, our closet looks so much bigger with nothing in it. Obviously, that makes a lot of sense, but anyways, I'm gonna get started on this now. This is why we're doing this. These, first of all, these wooden racks are like about to snap. And if you could see, the wood is about to like there's snap. There's so much weight. Yeah, there's been so much weight. Like look over here, the wood is literally about to snap off the wall, even like over here. So it's time and we've been wanting to do this for such a long time, so. Both called it from the beginning. Called it. I knew that they had to be nice. Good morning. It has been a really slow morning today. I'm getting ready to go to my bridal dress, wedding dress shopping appointment with Danielle. So she's going to come over here in probably the next 30 minutes and then Nick is going to stay home and continue working on the closet. So I'm just doing my makeup. I'm keeping it really natural and I'll probably just... I might tie my hair up in a bun, even though it might hurt my head, but it's, I think I want to wear my hair up for this wedding. So I just wanted to see what the dresses would like, look like with my hair up. So we'll see though. I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, we ordered Better Days, which is a coffee shop um, near us. And we ordered some breakfast from there. I ordered avocado toast, I've never tried it before. Wait, did I order avocado toast? I think so. I'm also like talking very quietly because my neighbor, I have my window open and my neighbor's outside in his backyard and he can definitely hear me. Um, oh, wait, is this the right color? I really need to start eating breakfast right when I wake up instead of after my coffee because it's not that good for you uh, to drink coffee on an empty stomach. And also I have to take pills in the morning so I put it off until like later in the day till I eat and that's not good. So I'm trying to change that habit. It's just a little bit difficult because I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm like never hungry in the morning. All I want is my coffee and pretty much it. So usually when I get ready in the morning, I turn on music, a podcast, a YouTube video, whatever. But today I opened up my window and I'm just listening to the sounds of nature, I guess and it's so peaceful and I'm just like alone with my own thoughts and for once it actually feels really nice. Oh, do you think I was live? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Holy Nick, moly, you have the heater on? Nick has been bringing up Ikea boxes. <laughs> He's like sweating. <sighs> we need to start working out, buddy. I, uh, I'm working out right now, literally. I helped him carry a box upstairs that was really heavy Actually, it wasn't even that heavy, to be honest. And it's heavy, don't lie, I'm not gonna lie, it's heavy. I'm not kidding. When I tell you guys, what did I do? You quit. No, but like, <laughs> what happened to me? I literally dropped to the floor panting. Like, that's how long it's been since I've... Borderline panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, kidding me? <laughs> I, I said, it's okay, just drop it, I got it. So anyways, Danielle's coming over and she's strong. She works out, so she's gonna help him carry up all the pieces. Okay, I think pretty much my makeup's done. I was gonna wash my hair today because it's really dirty, and then I decided not to. Probably a bad decision, but I'll just throw it up in a bun or something. It's looking a little crusty. Let me check Danielle's location and see where she's at. Mm, that's interesting. She's all the way in Henderson, which is 36 minutes from here. Come on, Danielle. Okay, let's do my hair. I'm gonna tie my hair up in a bun. Oh, I didn't get avocado toast. This is what I got. <laughs> I said. <laughs> Wait, that looks so good. I tried reading her the, the, the description of every single item. And she cut she cut me off every single time. I said, I don't care. Just give me something. I said strawberry banana. She said, get it. Because like, I felt really dizzy this morning, and I, I was just like in one of those moods where I was like, I need food now. You know. Lemonade. I haven't had lemonade in so long. 
Wow. Out oh, that just made me feel like it was summer. Out of the two of us, I go through long extended phases of like, I need to drink lemonade at all times. I need to have espresso at all times. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Like you I can only eat a certain breakfast for a long period of time. And then I have to like, and then I get like a thought, like, you know what? Lemonade sounds really good. And I ordered it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to make something else. So basically you're an addict. He becomes very easily addicted to things. <laughs> Or should I just do a ponytail? I feel like that might be easier. Oh. I think the hardest part about putting my hair up is finding a hair tie that like is the perfect. Oh. Yeah, anyways. Okay. Mia down. Should I just do a ponytail, babe? For? For this? I can't. Yeah, that's amazing. I'll like smooth it's right here. all of this out. I'm gonna use chest my extra hold to do this. And let me know when you're done. Basically I'm just gonna spray and take this like smoothing brush and smooth. Actually I'm probably gonna yeah I have to retie it. Dang it. I should have done this before I put it up. Do you like this? Well I love that. I love when you do that slick pack for me. Slick back pony. Taking my first bite. She's gonna hate it. <laughs> Any day now. Mm. A little hard on my jaw, but... Cheers. This is what I'm wearing to my appointment. These jeans, shoes, and top are from Revolve, and then this jacket's from Aritzia, but just something... Oh, also, these earrings are from Revolve, but just something a little bit more like dressed up so that, you know, it looks like I'm a bride. <laughs> I gotta go. I love you. Mm. She's here. Look hot. Thanks. Is it focused? It's not, huh? I just have to say, this is Danielle and I's friendship <laughs> in a nutshell. By the way, the only reason why she's wearing any <laughs> mascara or anything like this is because I had to bring it in the car. I was not aware that we're vlogging today. It was a pleasant surprise. But here's the but... thing. She's chronically underdressed all the time, <laughs> and I'm chronically overdressed all the time. Anytime we go out anywhere together, she's like natural beauty in her hoodie with some sweats, like doesn't need any makeup, and I'm like full on. Full... But you know what? When it comes down to like the nitty gritty, like me and you both are just leggings, sweatpants, yes. girly. Literally, you guys... I'm at David's Bridal, okay, because this was the only dress place in Vegas I could find that has conservative dresses, and I'm not looking to spend, like, a good amount of money on a dress, because I already did that with my first wedding dress, and this is just, like, a very intimate, small, quick gathering at the church, so it's, like, whatever, just get her but done. what's the vibe? Like, what are we going for? Yeah. Like, in your head, what do you see? Okay, well, since I did, like, mermaid for my wedding, I was thinking of doing, okay, so it has to be, like, high neck whole back has to be covered and it has to be my shoulders have to be covered so I want it to be long so sleeve. turtleneck <laughs> so the vibe is turtleneck so, yeah it's giving it's giving snowstorm so basically I want it to be long sleeve high neck covering my back obviously and then um I saw some on their website that were kind of like more on the poofier side I'm like poofy. not like a poofy but like more poofy than mermaid I don't know let's see you never know I might like it Lace could be. Um, I also found um, some that were like the satin. Like, anyways, okay, we gotta go inside because we're late, but we will see you guys in there. She needs to be conservative, and these are giving ho. Okay, she's coming. Hello, Christina. Hi, Christina's over there. Um, I think you should try it on. I think you won't I know until you try things on, right? I don't. This is my second time going with Christina. Her first wedding dress, it was only me and her. Um, just like a little bestie thing. And now again, for the second wedding. Do you like anything? Huh? Are you feeling anything? Not really, but I have to get something. I, I told him I just don't know how I feel. I don't want to be mean, but these are not the vibe. Where do we go? Okay. Like, what, what, Can you wear lace? I don't know. I don't know if this is the vibe. I don't think Christina realized this is yet, but we're probably gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> that was funny. That was so super funny, she giggled. <laughs> Ooh, look at these sparkly shoes over here. Oh my god, love. I want these. I'm gonna wear these to the wedding. <laughs> Yeehaw, right? Am I allowed to touch this? Probably not. I'm gonna do it anyways. 
Is this bad luck? Probably. Shouldn't touch things. These are what caught my eye. These are fun. These are fun. Christina would never. This is why we're different. She would never, but I mean, you know, to each their own, right? All right, guys, I was incorrect. I told her what I just did. I confessed my sins. I can't see myself. I'm literally holding this out. Um, and she actually likes them, so. I like the hat. I like the cowgirl hat. It's fun, right? It's fun for like a bachelorette. But what about the sparkly sandals? I mean, not sandals, sneakers. I don't like the silver ones, but I think the white ones could be a thing. Your vibe? I think, actually, now that I look at them. <laughs> now that I see them up close, those are <laughs> heinous. Yeah. You know, some of these have just subscribed. <laughs> All right, guys. That was interesting, okay? I think it's not necessarily the dresses that they had, more so just how conservative they were. I really didn't feel like myself. I do think you could do it in a beautiful way, but that was just a lot. Like, I didn't show any of them, but I mean. They don't have a lot of options either. Like, there's, there was genuinely like. There was like four dresses. Four. So like I tried something like this on and they said that they could add like the sleeves and cover everything. Um, this was my favorite. Like this dress was so pretty. The train on it was gorgeous. Then there was like this one. Like just, this one got me you guys. I really <laughs> felt <laughs> really. It was like Princess Leia. This one guys. I was, they told me I looked like a princess. I feel like they were just trying to be nice. Oh, it's hot in here. They, she said there was another one. I'm really thirsty. You know what, now that you say it, I'm a little thirsty too. Should we go through that McDonald's drive-thru? Let's go to McDonald's. Period. McDonald's, what do you get? What's your McDonald's order? Let us know. Well, um, what do you get? What do you get to drink? If I'm gonna get a drink right now, I'm gonna get a small Dr. Pepper because I don't drink soda. Small. But Dr. Pepper just I hits. hate Dr. Pepper. Nick loves Dr. Pepper. Ugh, I'm gonna so get good. spicy. Ugh. Ooh, you like ew. I'm sorry, but that's just weird. What do you get? Coke? <laughs> I get either Coke or Diet Coke. Should I get Coke or Diet Coke? You Should I just do Coke? Get a Coke. Does it help your head? Mm -hmm. Get a Coke. All right, we are about to go to dinner with my parents. And we, every time we leave the house, we turn on Bluey on YouTube for Mia and we leave lights on. We don't keep her doggy door open because she barks and we don't want um, the neighbors to get upset. But these are what, this is what we're wearing. So I'm basically just wearing the same thing I was wearing earlier, but I put on a different top because the other one was kind of see-through. And my hair is in a ponytail. This really hurts my head, but my hair is so dirty that it's the only thing that's gonna work out right now. Sour. Let's see your strut, babe. I don't have a strut. Give it up, guys. Me? Obsessed with you? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Cause baby, like, ooh, it's all in the sound The sun goes around the stage. Can we? Alright guys, it's the next day. Mia, what are you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at? Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. We have a lot to do today. I'm going to be cleaning all day. Nick is going to try to finish the closet up. Um, so I'll show you guys that in the next vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching our very all over the place vlog. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Say bye mama. Good girl.